Hey, it's Jamila from Buy Pink. Um, I was asked to do a video on how to create, <clears throat> excuse me, a shadow layer in a, um, in Cricut Design Space. So before when I done did this, it was a lot easier. Um, but I'm assuming that it has to do with Cricut updating. I can't do it the old way, the way I used to do it. So I when I when I go through these steps, I'm going to talk you through how it worked before and then also show you the workaround just in case your operating system is doing the same thing that mine is. So I've already typed out my um, text. I am going to now change this to, oh, it's already a print file. Well, so I, I've changed it from a cut file to a print file after I type it. And the, only, the way you do that is you go up here to your fill layer. And when it's a cut file, it has no fill. But when it's a print file, you have the print fill. So, and I'm just changing the color for effect. Click on make it. Continue. We're going to send the printer. So before you were able to right click here and go to save image as, but for some reason here, I don't have the option to save it as a PNG. So I'm going to show you the workaround that I was able to come up with. I'm going to tick the system dialog box, click on print. And my printer dialog box is going to open up. I would assume that this is basically the same on both uh, Mac and PC. I'm on a Mac. We're going to go down here to PDF and open in preview. And that's going to open over here. Once it opens, go to file, save, and we're going to name this Jamila. I'm going to save it to my downloads. And all this, the first two steps are optional. You don't have to name it. You can name it. You save it where you want to. Just make sure you can find it. So I'm going to change the format to PNG. And then click Save. So now we're going to go back over here to Design Space. Cancel the cut. And then I'm going to upload that file that I just saved. Now, obviously, there's going to be a little bit of cleanup that needs to be done. So I'm going to delete all that you can delete in between but because i'm using it as a shadow i don't need those to be hollowed out so i'm going to save it as a cut layer upload the image um, not not upload insert the image now i need to flip this so i'm going to go up here to flip Not flip. Rotate is what I want. And I want to rotate negative 90 because I want it to rotate counterclockwise. So we're going to go to range. We're moving that backwards or move to the back. And then you have your. your offset. You can do this any number of ways. Um, to align it, I'm going to click on my image. I'm going to ungroup and then I'm going to put it everything where I want it. Just a bit bigger. Okay, 
And then I'm going to select all of these again and group them. I always like to weld my stuff. So there's your um, your uh, shadow layer or offset using Design Space.